Who doesn't love seeing a statue memorial to Chris Cornell? Pretty good job, huh? Especially with that light beaming through. All right, let's go into the Pearl Jam section. I don't know how much we'll look at because I'm not a Pearl Jam fan at all. But I want to show it. For $30 a ticket, we're looking at everything. Wow, look at all the memorabilia they have in here. All the road cases, amplifiers, all the hats and backstage passes they used to wear. Jeff Amet. Zodiac phase says. <laughs> Love Bone Era. And here are some of Eddie Vedder's masks. And a letter to him from, it looks like, Obama. President Obama's farewell address. Eddie Vedder's seat. Huh. Pretty good display already. I'm not even a fan of the band. Look at all those backstage passes though, jeez. Wow. Look at all that up there. Take a look at this statue of Andrew Wood from Mother Love Bone. It's like he's part of a tree. That's a ton of awards over there. Now these are all Eddie Vedder's song composition books. Original lyrics and poems and various ideas. And look at all of them up there. They're all dated by years. And then this is a second case of more writings and composition books. Now up here it says this is stage lighting broken by Mike McCready. All those balls and everything. That's kind of cool. They actually have some of their stage set up here. And here's some more of Eddie Vedder's stuff. The amp with the bat wings. His Memphis guitar. His broken ukulele. Then Mike McCready's 1980 Ibanez Iceman. You see pictures of him right there as a kid playing it. Paul Stanley plays one of those too. You can see the old case has Kiss stickers all over the case. Probably explains why he's playing the Iceman, right? Now this case is all early 1980s to 1990s stuff. It's Shadow, Green River, and Mother Love Bone. I know there's a lot of Mother Love Bone fans out there, so I'll definitely show all this stuff. Green River LP. Andrew Wood's hat with the hand on there. That's cool guitar case. Then over here we have some more. Now this case is all for Pearl Jam's 10 release day. Porch Lane. And then some of the master tapes and then over here we have some of the temple of the dog stuff Jeff Amet stick man right there now we're going into vitology era and verses this is the vitology stuff for sure I remember all that stuff they were on MTV a ton when that was out. 
He's even got his Chicago Cubs pin on there. Soundgarden. Oh wow, look at that, the camcorder. Used by Pearl Jam videographer to record the live footage. And look at that destroyed guitar. That is awesome. Here we have some uh, Vitology master tapes and the track sheets right over there. Wow, this is madness how much stuff they have here. All the way down to a Devo suit. <laughs> Devo outfit worn at the Philadelphia Spectrum and the chairs from the Spectrum as well. I just can't get over these Pearl Jam pinatas up there. Some of the mementos from when they were on uh, David Letterman's Late Show. And uh, gosh, look at this. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> All the stuff they have in here. That was a fan made Mike McCready cardboard cutout. Oh, look, a Grammy. And they have a Grammy right there. Here's some original writings and drawings from Eddie Vedder. Here we have a ton more art. But we also have a Mike McCready destroyed guitar, which is kind of cool to see. And then Jeff Ammons Rooster stage prop right there. Here we have some more props up there. Stage show stuff. Crayon box and props from their home shows, it says here in Seattle. Then we have some guitars and drum heads. Kind of cool. Matt Cameron sticks back there and wristbands. And then Jeff Ammon's bass. <laughs> it says suck this up on the top. And then Mike McCready's destroyed guitar. Eddie Vedder's destroyed tambourines and looks like more of a guitar over here. What are these masks from? Let's see, bronze sculptures from Life Wasted video. Ah, I never saw it, so that explains that. More personal belongings from Eddie Vedder. His uh, protest signs, Ramon shirts, his uh, typewriter. Here we have some drum heads, and we have some artwork and some skateboards. All kinds of stuff. Man, God, they had a lot of merch. Oh, another destroyed guitar, a flying V, and then Mike McCready has some of his own <laughs> baseball bats back there. What was he going pro at one point? And then a lot of uh, Polaroids and things like that, and some original artwork, which is kind of cool to see. You can see that's all by uh, Stone Gossard, it looks like. That's pretty cool. He's a great artist. And here we have the wardrobe. A uh, case of Stone Gossard and Eddie Vedder has some of their clothes still left in it or you know at least they put them back in there so you can kind of see what they would have traveled with it looks like they would have shared one case and split it between the two of them that's Eddie Vedder's stuff you can tell all the way down to one of his presidential masks in there more handwritten lyrics and set lists all kinds all kinds of stuff this is kind of cool. They recreated like a band practice space for them in here with all their original instruments and how it would have all been laid out, including a <laughs> picture of John Waters for some reason. I assume that's who that is. But you can see everybody's equipment. Boom gas bar back there on the keyboards. And you can see where Jeff Amit would have uh, set up his stuff. Eddie Vedder, of course, would have been right here at the microphone. You can see that on the bottom. And then whole wall of guitars over here. That's pretty cool. I love that they set it up quite like that. That's awesome. And that's what the real practice space would have looked like. So much, much bigger, but same idea. This is kind of a cool display. The light is always changing and making it look a little bit different, that Pearl Jam display. But then we walk over here and they have surfboards with all the band members' faces on the surfboards. <laughs> it's kind of cool. There's Eddie, yeah. And there's one big one. Tour 95. Now let's see what's over here. One of the things I haven't shown you is that they kind of lined this entire place with all of the shirts that they sold on tours are all on display all the way around the entire, the entire place. 
Now we have another uh, stage prop up here. Actually, we have quite a few stage props over here. Russ never sleeps is what it says on the shirt. Look at all that stuff, man. Wow, all the monkeys and... Why do they have a bunch of starting lineup? Johnson versus Bird down there. I see Reggie Miller, <laughs> Clyde Drexler, Dennis Rodman on the Bulls, Monkey Wrench Radio, Pirate Radio. That's pretty cool. Man, they got a lot of stuff here. Well, that is it for the Pearl Jam room. We're gonna call it a day here. Have a great night, everyone, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.